but I used to go and stand there with Nicky and after standing in a DJ box and be like, that guy's got a gun, that guy's got a gun, that guy's got a gun. Fully activated. And one guy's got, like, these guys are wearing like gold braces, like it looks like this bloody ashtray on their wrist. Whoa. Yeah, no, 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 it looks like cigarette boxes. That's how big it is. Like, like he's got yeah, wrapped in boxes. Yeah. No, 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 they're, they're boxes that, and boxes and no, boxes. No, I'm saying it's dead. The, 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 the Rolex. Braces, yeah. No, the braces, the braces are that big. It looks like they're that thick. Like the bracelet is that thick, like a gold bracelet, that yeah, thick. Thick. So it's only like three links. So it's only going like, <laughs> you're like, what the hell is? I've never seen nothing like it in my life. And then Nicky did that Black... scare you? Did it scare you? Yeah, it scared me, but it didn't scare Nicky Black Market. <laughs> Nicky Black, yes, run in, and they play. Worldwide, what's up, you talk? I'm like, Nicky can't play that tune now, Ruby. And the man is like, Ruby, Ark Shabba, I've been Leicester, Starlight Club, two thousand and one. Shabba got on the mic. What guns going off? Shut up! Really? This is when you this one. Killer Killer podcast. Killer Killer official dot com. Street culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer podcast. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Oi, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast, live and direct, Central London. That's what I'm saying to you. What's that? It's noise? that bottle, yeah. I That's thought it was the... a feedback, yeah. Yo, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, what's up with your setup, bro? <laughs> Something's going on. I, I thought he was a mic man. What cables <laughs> are going electric? Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast, live and direct, Central London or Central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be, baby. You don't want to be anywhere else. Believe that. For the sport and art, street culture, yes, yes, come on. Um, and anyone that knows the real deal gets a television app. Free download, iPhone, Android for your street culture sports. Inside the house. How? It's a real fucking pleasure. <laughs> a dear old friend of mine. Who's been in light year trying to get on here. He's complaining about how hot it is, but he should have come in the winter. This man is all seasoned. Seasoned in the world of emceeing. Oh, yeah. Vocal season. elasticity. Elasticity. Yeah. <laughs> LSD. And, uh, elasticity. From the era of jungle drum and bass in a world that is only described as mythical. The MC. Foxy inside the place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, right? He's one of the few people that actually make me smile. You're a Wally. <laughs> Ouch. What's going on, people? How are you doing? Are you good? Um, yeah, I come out of my house. Yeah, you come out your house. Listen, and, and thank you. Oh. Go on. He likes sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, oui. yes, I do. Rufus, they're, oh! not, they're not yours. I have a pair. Oh! They're for you. For those listening or watching, I am being gifted right here a pair of Club Tropicana. And it's free! <laughs> Club Tropicana, you know, is free. Right, here we go. I'm donning them. That's me. Oh. That's okay, me. But you know what, right? Go on. I know you don't really care because you would wear what you want to wear. I'm welcome anyway. But I'm on some Timmy Mallet shit. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Mallet. Hey, listen. Hey, he's got a pair as well. <laughs> I'm coming in. Don't watch the bag. Yeah? <laughs> I'm coming in. I'm coming. I'm coming in. Knock, knock. <laughs> so, I've had these glasses set in my house for the last two or three years. Mm. I had no mm -hmm. reason to... Uh, hold on. <laughs> He has them on, gentlemen and right. ladies. We are, we are in the house. Foxy's most definitely in the building. We're here, we're here. Should, should we keep them on? Yeah, we'll keep them on for we'll a couple of shall we? I mean, yeah, you we'll know, sweeten the view and all that. How Go are on. you? How are you? I'm still black, I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. Yeah? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm really it's, good. It's... I'm, actually, I, I'm actually glad that I came out of my house. Yeah. yeah. Is, this, is this genuinely a rare occurrence? Do you, do you not? Um... Consider I'm only 29 years old and I've been emceeing for 25 years. Um, <laughs> no, the basically, math. the long and short of it is um, I've almost conditioned myself to be in my house quite a lot, especially after like almost 30 years of being on the road. Mm. So it's almost like a thing of like, if I'm going to come out, there has to be a really, really good reason for me to come out of my house, other than my child or mm. being Gary. 
which is mm. my normal mm. name. So mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah, I'm just happy to be here. You make me smile. I told you that the other day. <laughs> You're my good friend. I like. Yeah, it. Really <laughs> that. Well, we actually, you know, we're talking breaking science last weekend, and uh, yeah. we were chatting big up away. Bridge. Yeah, big, big up, up Bridge all day. Bridge big up, up Carney, Nikki Mills, all Nikki, the crew. Yep, the whole crew. Yep, um, and. Uh, yeah, we were reciting some glorious moments on tour, weren't we? So Just... let's talk about what it really was. Um, yeah. Let's go back. I don't know how many years ago it was, but um, I was working in Bristol a lot at a drive-by. Um, and for some reason, the way it goes within this scene, you end up being... I keep it like, the glass is actually quite cool, no, no, right? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly. Um, basically, so long and short of it was, I should see Keller come through and do his thing. Extremely tight, a young guy. I look at him, he's much slimmer than what he is now. Yeah, man grows up. Never, no, he never, yeah, he, he went as... Hench. Dench. Yeah. <laughs> Timber's real, baby. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, long and short of it was, like, yeah, uh, I used to see him a lot, I see him a lot, and then things blew up for both of us. Mm. And then we'd be like, what are you doing here? What are you doing mm-hmm. here? And it would be either Germany or it would be <laughs> Australia, <laughs> yeah. which is the main one. So, basically, yeah, long yeah, and short yeah. of it was, I was on tour with Kenny Ken, um, I think he was on tour with SS yeah. and a World of Drum Bass tour. Was Shy there or, f- or was it Groove? I, wanna, I, 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 remember I think he might have been... Sh- shy, maybe. Oh, he was Shy. Yeah. And you guys just came back from Tasmania. Mm. Yes. And you, yeah, and we was, I think it was Melbourne. Mm. Melbourne mm. or... Yeah, Adelaide or Perth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melbourne, I think it was Melbourne. It was Melbourne, yeah. Melbourne, yeah. And um, it's one of those moments where I walked into the park right, with Kenny. And Kenny's like, yeah, we're going to go and meet SNM, man. And they just landed from... Whatever. Mm. Walked into the part, I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's like, what? I'm like, cat. <laughs> and the way we looked at each other is like, ding. Ren and Stimpy vibes. Yeah, like, <laughs> look like, help, but love you, help. Big cuddle is like, you do then. And yeah. Then we sit down and talking. So, yeah, we've always had a good, a good little connection. And then mm. obviously meeting up with, um, with Mills, big up little Mills. Big up Mills, my girl. Yeah, kind of, Come on. Yeah, I'm always going to call you little Mills. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what Uncle Fox does. Yeah. Okay. Damn right. So, yeah, family so, tree. Family tree, family, family pl- tree. Yes, which you are. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah. and um, long and short of it is at Breaking Science at the, is it LDN, the yeah. outdoor thing last uh, LDN week? East, London East, That's yeah. That's right. Wicked set, Nikki Mills, myself and Boxer Banton. Hold Big up, up Boxer. Banton. Big up Dugsy. Yeah. Uh, Dugs, Uncle Dugs. So, um, yeah, he was like, listen, let's get it on. And I'm the kind of guy that's like, yeah, let's call it on, let's call it on, mm-hmm. let's call it on. And then, um, Especially now, I don't turn up. <laughs> so, oh, really? Is that yeah, a thing? because like, I don't know. It's a bit for me. I'm not going to complain because this is all I know from mm. the age of 18. I'm whatever age now. Mm. We're, we're talking 31 years mm. this year, and um, if I'm going to come at my house, I want to come out for a reason. I want to come out for people who are like people who make me feel comfortable, and that's what it is. I'm not trying to be a diva or anything, but you know. We're all human, and mm. I'm just happy to be here. So. Do you know what's interesting? And this this actually does it, it equates to what you're saying. There's a certain um, arm's length, I think, that some of the best MCs have. It's a way. It's almost. It's not an intentional one, but it's like you know. It's it's this. It's uh, this. Uh, I'm getting a bit awkward now because. Oh, some of the best MCs. You're talking about me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a bit weird for me. But it is and it isn't. Do you understand where I'm coming from? It's like... Hey, tell me why. Explain why. Because Nikki always told me don't believe the hype. Really? Yeah. Don't believe the hype. Don't get it twisted. I, well, I see you at Spraking Science, bro, and I was like, wow, the charisma going off on that stage. Yeah, but if you, know, if you notice, I don't look at the crowd sometimes, I'm really shy. I'm badly shy. When I am see, I don't look at the crowd really? at all. No, yeah, I, I see your head down sometimes, but... I know. don't look at the crowd. Really? I don't. I just shout. Ain't that something? <laughs> Ah! And I or might swear and say, fuck off. How long does it take you to... Because this is good intel for any mm. g- g- growing MC me, in the scene. Yeah, yeah, and, mm. uh, yeah exactly. It's a study, isn't it? Uh, so um, how long does it take you as, a, as an artist to warm to the idea of being in front of a crowd and performing before you can look up? No. Or, no not at all? No, there's no warming. Really? It's war. Really? <sighs> it's, war. It's, it's what we do. Are it's you like what? right now, if I say to you, okay, give me the right, bust a, a beat, but there's no talking. You it's can war. Do it. That's but straight. That's in. that's what we sat down yeah. when we was by ourselves yeah, and yeah. being awkward or saying yeah. this is what we want to do. And yeah. So yeah, it's like I have no choice. If you say to your old fuck, spit a little something now, if I don't like you or whatever, it's like I'm not in that situation, yeah, I won't do it. Yeah. 
But if it's a situation like now, then I'll do it because I feel respected. I feel the fact that this is what I do. I know you're asking me, you're coming from a what? I'll, you said, oh, best MCs. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I love it. <clears throat> I fully love it. But mm. um, for me, best MC, drum and bass wise. Tell me. Who's your? Who would you say? Look, and 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 don't even try and not put yourself in the category of these people. You've I'm gonna put myself into anything. I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you the MCs that I like. Tell me there's MCs, the MCs that, that I like. Yeah, you tell. Yeah, 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 please in, do. In no particular. Well, yeah, X, top of top. <sighs> yeah, Evil, be live, both mm. of them. Oh, nice. Whichever yeah. one, whichever one turns up, I yeah. don't mind. I have both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Grimer and Azza. Mm, okay. Mass- yeah, mm. yeah, yeah they, they're doing good. My son, F O double X. Come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've had got you that with, um, t- I think Telex at the moment. Yeah, busy. Called, called Shine on mm. Hospital Records. Nice. So he's doing his stuff. Pick up my son, F O double X. Um, Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> right. And if you don't know these names, do Google. Right, Ouija, man. W E E J I. Okay. He's the new me, but an upgrade. Whoa. I love him. This guy, he's, he's gangster. I love his whole vibe. I love his whole energy. His whole voice, his whole charisma, his whole respect. Like, mm. I get a phone call on a Sunday morning. Well, go on, Unks. Are you okay, Uncle? I'm like, all right, cool. So, yeah, Ouija, man, i got a lot of time for. I love so that. So, let's, let's break it down. MCs. GQ. Hmm? Can't talk to him. Um, Skibba. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Who I grew up with from before the MC. In. Crazy. Yeah. There's so many. There's so many. I'll tell you what it is with me with MCs. It's like... I'm not into you until you might bus bus half of a bar at the right time. There was a moment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I'll be, like, I'll be like, you know what? I'll fuck with you. Yeah. So for me, Ouija, you've got a TNA, so that's Azo and Grimer. Um, the young guys that are coming through, my son, um, Stevie, of course, mm, because yes. of his, <laughs> his arrogance. Yeah. <laughs> and he always telling me in the car before he died. He goes, Fox, you see me when I get on the mic? I ain't come here to come and I come here to fuck shit up. God, I love that. Yo, that's what we're <laughs> here, Stevie. I think, come that's on. Because I'm here to fuck shit up. I'm not here to do nothing. I'm here to fuck shit up. I'm like, all right, cool. Trigger. Trigger. Now there's a yeah. man. Wow. Yeah, his whole energy. Yeah. Dangerous. Um, dan- aya, aya. If, yeah, if you want to talk about mics, okay, you as a beatbox, you used to blow my mind. Hey, bless yeah, you. Yeah, you still do. Uh, yeah, you still yeah, do. Yeah, like, you used to blow my mind despite. <laughs> There was a time on the Fetcler on the boat in Bristol. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, drive by. Yeah. You don't. And know. I, yeah, I do remember it because um, uh, that's where I, I collared you in the backstage, yeah, the backstage and we had a fucking yeah. yeah. Really? And I was with Plus One, I think, and Craze, yes. wasn't it? it? Was Craze? Plus One surplus. Yeah. Plus One is that surplus? Yeah, no, DJ Plus One. You remember? Oh, DJ Plus. DJ, I'm thinking of surplus from Bristol, but surplus. And I think Bristol, Craze was there as well. Yes. Oh, yes. That was the tour. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dude. What agency was you on then? Primary. 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 Okay. Primary. Yeah, I think I was just about to jump on with Obi and those guys. Yeah. Big up Obi, big yeah. up Wilf Gregory. Big up, yes. Um, yeah, big up, big up all, all those guys, yeah. Absolutely. Can we stick on the subject <laughs> yes, about um, about emceeing and being... I, I, I guess the best way that we can define what you had said there was um, you're, you're a few words away from a moment as an MC that will make or break you, that defines you. Yeah. Yeah, for me, because... It's like the other day I'm sitting with my eight year old daughter and I'm singing, put the TV on. There's all these sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties music, popular music. Mm. And I'm singing all the words to these songs, which I never subconsciously realised that I actually that you knew it. the words of. Yeah. And looking back on it, remember, I don't know if you remember, like we used to have like, if you want to know what the latest music was, it was Top of the Pops. Yeah. On yeah. TV. Yeah. So it used to be on a Thursday, I think. Then used to be on to Friday. Then it moved to a Wednesday. Then it moved to whatever. Mm. And that was the big thing. Do you yeah. remember we were talking about Mel and Kim? Yeah, that's right. Mel and Kim, Cookie, <laughs> Cookie Crew. Cookie Crew. Yeah. Betty Boo. Betty Boo. Oh. Like Ooh. She, but yeah, but she, she got took into the commercial side. She but did, she, she was actually part of the underground hip-hop scene. She really was, wasn't she? Yeah. I think she'd be a graffiti writer as well. That's what I'm really? thinking. Yeah. Because I remember, obviously, going through my big cousin Rodney. Yeah. Uh, um, Rodney P. Big up Rodney P. Yeah. You don't know. Big up uh, Bionic. Yeah. Got the whole London posse. Yeah, right. All those guys. Because you were on tour with them and uh, and and oh, yeah. Queen Latifah and MC Mello. I'm, I'm just dropping uh, yeah, names. Well, I'll pick them up later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the long and short of it was um, 15 years old. And um, some of you artists might know about Bandwidth, which is like the 
company that deals with the like, tra- transport, yeah. you know, like sprinters, what you call mm. sprinters now, those kind of things. Tricked that once for artists and stuff. I remember being in one of those on tour with Rodney P on the London Posse tour, and that was the Gangster Chronicle album when oh. they when they re, when they redone most of the tracks. Mm. And I would I would have been fifteen years old at that time, mm. and while well, with my big cousin in his Honda Prelude. I was thinking about this the other day, and I remember it was A Ridge, and I think A Ridge was like nineteen eighty. You know? Getting old. Like <laughs> Don't stop. But yeah, just, just being on tour with them and sitting in a, in, a, in a van with these big artists from America smoking weed. Mm. And um, <laughs> it was crazy. Zap Club in Brighton. Mm. Reminded me of what were you saying? Tatooine. Yeah, Tatooine. Um, in where, Star Wars. Skywalker. Yeah, where Skywalker. Yeah. Putting glasses down there for. So um, yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a really big. Um, sorry, that was a really big um, part of my. Introduction to music, to performance, to being in front of a crowd. Mm. But honestly, I'm so nervous most times that I switch it around and be quite err. Mm. So that's where the err comes from because I'm thinking I'm a, I'm a bit like because mm. 99% of the time if anyone has any video of me. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, you don't see me directly looking at the crowd too much unless it's, I'm coming to the end of a bar. So you're thinking that the, the shyness makes you, uh, has the opposite effect of making you aggressive? Yeah, it does. A lot. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Because yeah. I think that notoriety when you're a youngster, I mean, we're not too dissimilar in age, but, you know, I remember seeing... What, 24, a lot, 25? Uh, yeah, exactly, roughly. You know, it's a fucking <laughs> labour-intensive life, this, the age we we're are. Not, we're not sponsored. Yeah, no, we're not sponsored at all. Uh, too young for it. Um, <laughs> but uh, seeing you guys up there and just, like, the, the authority that you guys have as... Yeah, but hold on. Bass but I, yeah, but hold on. <clears throat> I remember doing that and then knowing you're behind me and about to come on after me and I'm like, yeah. And I'll say, well, let me give this guy the biggest kind of boost. And then looking back at it, I think, okay, that's why he's looking at me like that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you're here for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As much as you might doubt yourself, which we do with human. Like, when we go to the toilet, our shit stinks. What the fuck? There was three people. There's, I can't think of any more apart from MC Trip, who was part of the Big Up Chipper. He's still about. But there was three people that I remember so much uh, informative years in in uh, in circulating around drum and bass mm-hmm. uh harry shotter yourself and skibbity uh, and these guys you three were the people that i would always do bar i would always bar off with in some capacity but i'm gonna break it down to you which you forget harry i love him to bits and bobs because he's a fucking absolute mike savage savage mike mic and see. look talented motherfucker he calls me uncle that's my yeah. bro bro that's my family yeah. tree but harry comes about eight eight years or so before, five years or so before, you say you would have been Skibber. Yeah. So then with Skibber, you got introduced to Harry via when it was the, the unk stuff with, yeah. with Fun, Big yeah. Up Fun, Big Up Rough yeah, yeah, Stuff. Yes, mm. um, all those guys. So Big Up Cocky, all the family. Um, <laughs> Harry is the Eminem of... Europe, as far as I'm concerned. Yo, that's a great accolade. I'm sorry, no, I'm, I'm sorry. that. He um, love that. Big up. I'm sorry. Well, he's got he's got my name in his lyrics. Yeah. Serious yeah. MC. So yeah, and then Skibar. Um. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Me, I met him when I was 15 years old, and none of us was MCs, and he was in Waterloo. He was playing football in the Adventure Playground on the Tanswell Estate in Waterloo. And I used to live on Wandsworth Road and come all the way down from Wandsworth Road down through Vauxhall, through to Kennington. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. past Lillian Bayliss, through into Waterloo. Mm. Um, and then from Waterloo, I started hanging out in the West End. From the West End, I got into the underground scene, Spiral Tribe. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and that's through people like, Clayton Hines. Yeah, Clayton. Um, this is before the music. This is when Clayton was on road and he was what we used to call a top caner. He was the biggest out there going to biology. Going to, he was an older lot wow. to, to myself. And we used to follow those guys to all the big parties, biology, to Nathan Way, to Marky, to... So, yeah. Mm. It's crazy. But Alfie, Skibber, it's... 
um, yeah, no one can fault his achievements. No one can fault who he is. And no one can fault the fact that we miss him. Mm. Um, I'm not trying to change the whole energy of it how it is now. I'm a very emotional person in that kind of sense. But mm. at the same time, because he was a friend and he still is a friend. Yeah. And I miss him. Yeah. Just like my friend Dean Kirby, who passed away the other day as well. Oh, rest in, peace, yeah, rest in peace, Dean. Rest in peace, Dean. So, yeah, this, that's how it is. But, yeah, Skibber, <laughs> mm. we miss him. Mm. Uh, Stevie, we miss him. You know, I watched all these MCs' journeys. I remember MCing with... Trigger in 1998 at uh, Baseman's birthday bash. Baseman. And Arts Mills, and Mills will tell you, and Nicky will tell you, we used to have a tape called 120, which was the Baseman's birthday bash, which means if he was late for a party, we'd put it on and we'd do 120 <laughs> miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It. I, I didn't have to admit it. <laughs> and we say, can we, can we, what, what, 120s, 120s? And we put this tape on, and it would be like, it was a Baseman's birthday bash. And a Manchester lot came down to Birmingham. And you have to understand something. These are the times where, okay, cool, Bristol was cool. Sorry, London was cool. Mm. But the Midlands was a whole different world. It was like the Wild West. You have to understand. All the stuff that they're talking about, this and that, what they got, they had it. Please, <laughs> please, please understand, Arts Man, be swift. Ask anybody. They'll tell you about a place in Nottingham called um, Marcus, actually, it's Marcus Garvey Centre. Like, I remember going there on Christmas Eve and I was with Nicky <laughs> and Swift was playing and he played this tune. Now, it might have been one of his tunes, like the one or one of his tunes he had on charge. And one of the gangster guys was like, yeah, we love the tune, we love the tune, fam, we love the tune. He's just looking at the guy like this. Yeah, we love the tune, we love the tune. The guy just pulled out a gun like that. <laughs> we love the tune, so he went. <laughs> okay. Looked at me and went. The thing is, this, 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 I'm talking about like the year 2000, bro. So, one in that. No, 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 this, 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 listen, people want to talk about this, this gun violence on the streets. The Midlands had, had that way, way, way before us. It was, I never saw anything before it, like in my life. Like going to the Midlands, I used to go with Nikki, go to a party, come outside, and there'd be somebody's to leave with this, somebody's to leave. And I'd be thinking, where's the police? Whoa. Well, not in that sense, but it's like, well, this doesn't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. In London, we don't really run like that. But this, this is like the early 2000s. But so it was part of the culture, the Johnsons, the burgers. It was real. Yeah. It was actually, it was fully, fully real. That's what I'm trying to say, that when you was coming through and you were doing your thing, it's kind of weird. Like, there were so many different sections. You had London, you had Bristol, you had, like, Birmingham. You, Manchester a little bit. But Manchester got shut down because they there was too wild up there. So most of the Manchester like, used to I remember back. Manchester shows being pretty lively. Yeah. I remember that. Did you ever do Hacienda? No, I didn't. Me neither. No. Sankey Soaps was the spot, Sankey's, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What was your experience with Sankey Soaps? Exactly. As I was it, it, was very, it was very intense. And, I, I, and you know, look, you know what? Trigger, on face value, is a scary-looking guy. Yeah. yeah, I love you, Triggs. Truth, that, truth be told, though, <laughs> I felt safe when Trigger was in the building. Yeah, him and his cousin Byro, hang tight Byro, all the Manchester lot. <clears throat> love you all, love you all. Yeah. But as soon as Trigger was in, I was like, he's no, it's like, cool. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. We're chill. Because you know what I mean? It's like, there yeah, was, it's just the intensity I, of the I, place. I went, I went there with some people from London who affiliated. Mm. And I even still felt intimidated. But then once I got to Sankey Soaps, I'm like, hold on, this is like literally some old Lancashire mill. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's yeah, yeah. like literally like an old Lancashire mill and it's like... It's smart of mildew. had this weird... Yeah, because next to the river, it's, it's an old mill. Yeah, so yeah, it's like it a big, we, we never see it. We never, because we know it's, it's quite... Kind yeah, of we tall. roll in dark. It's always late. But yeah, all those different journeys, like for me, like I said, I keep on coming back to this review, was walking to the park in Melbourne and seeing you in there. <laughs> and then we just sat down and it was like, oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so, just declimatising a place, isn't it, where you know, you're, you're, yeah, you're an but, alien to it and then you well, see people you know. I think that you guys have been on some mad tour by that time. I swear, mm. like the day before you was in Tasmania mm, or something yeah. like that. Tasmania, yeah, that's right. And then we, yeah, because we, we came back from New Zealand. Yeah, that was the other thing. There's New Zealand, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you come back to Australia? Then yeah. you went back out. Yeah, Tasmania. And then come back again. Yeah. So we were using that as the downtime. Ah. Uh, that was it. Uh, but that Melbourne, I remember that Melbourne, Melbourne show. show was banging. Yeah, it was. I and the pie. stage was off the corner, wasn't it? It was mad yeah, one, wasn't it? I had it? a pie afterwards. Did you? Yeah, I like a pie yeah, in Australia. Yeah, 
That's a good point. Yeah. I'm talking of because I was just going to get into some graffiti in Melbourne, Ooh. but you've got graffiti friends, haven't you? We, we yeah, all... we were just talking about that. Yeah. Cos. Cos, yeah. Venger, my cousin. Venger, FTC, only, come but, on. But here's the issue, right? I didn't know he was a graffiti artist like until <laughs> just now when we spoke to Reggie. So I take Reggie, Corso. Yeah, come but, on, Corso. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I've come in here and it's like, this is like a whole reflection of of part of my life, a lot of my friends and stuff. I want to big up my man here. Yep. It's a jumping jack for us. A big brother of mine. I want to say thank you. Like, yeah. last couple of weeks I've been going through a bit of a, a downtime and he's been hitting mm. me up, so I think I might be hitting a bit of a go and have a retreat kind of thing. Uh, and see what's catching you. Ca- well, this is part of the the, the, the therapy of, uh, yeah, of, I of life, it. you know. I, 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 I need it at the end of the day. I need it. Yeah. I do it in the day, like for instance, it's been non-stop for thirty years, whatever. Mm. I'm not gonna, co- I'm not gonna complain about my life. I'm not gonna change anything, but maybe try and change some of the things that I'm pa- doing. Patterns. Now. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah. Like I'm getting into a pattern so easy of like, okay, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Okay, I'm not gonna come because it feels like it's a bit too much. But then at the same time, it's like, well, how's it a bit too much? This is what you know. This mm. is who you are. Mm-hmm. Either you embrace it or you don't, or okay, I'm gonna embrace it, but I'm not gonna let it overpower me a little. Mm. You know? But at the same time, like you, I don't take um Oh fuck, you're top of top yeah, I won I won the award, I beat Skipper, I beat GQ, I cried when I won it. Mm-hmm. I I I had Dizzy Rascal sat at my table. I remember this shit, bro. Uh, 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 2002? 2003. Three. <laughs> was you there? Yeah. Was there? I was performing. I oh, yes! <laughs> did I cry? Yes, I... you did. <laughs> Goldie was right there. I remember the I, table, I, bro. Remember, because I had Dizzy on the table there, yeah. and that's when Dizzy's album, Boy in the Corner, was just coming out. Yeah. And what yeah. it was with the new breed crew, we should, I'm going to pick up X, I want to pick up Evil, I want to pick up Herbsy, I want to pick up Logan, I want to pick up Maggi, and yeah. guess what? I'm still going to pick up Fat Man, because yeah. I'm not built like that. So it was kind of crazy looking back on it now, and I always knew, because I had the table for nominated for Best MC, and then um, X had the table for Newcomer. Mm-hmm. So we both won. But I always knew in my heart, and I always pushed... That I knew X was always going to go past where I've gone to because of how he is as a person. Yeah. Uh, how do you mean? Well, put it this way. When he won that award, he really had a degree in computer science. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Herbs, he both did. That's incredible. Yeah, they both got degrees in computer science. Celebrate well, that. Well, no, no. Herbs got a degree in um, interior design. Nice. And X has got a degree in computer science. And that was from 2003. So, they, yeah. yeah. And most of the lyrics he's talking about what he has and what he don't. Is the truth, mm. and I've given that kind of ratings. He's very much like I'm more emotional, more like uh, more energy kind of thing. He's very more clinical, very more, mm. you know. And then you got evil, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> serious MC man. You dirty bugger, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love evil. Um. So yeah. So we have, we have that. That was kind of crazy. And then what it was, one of the guys who started New Breed. I'm not even going to mention his name because he don't deserve it to be totally honest. But um, he kind of introduced him up working with Dizzy, being his tour manager for a little while. Mm. And then now our new friend, part of our crew as well, good friend Paddy, Pure Science. Lovely. Um, Richie Weaver and those guys there. Uh, Dreddy, Shortston, Kasha. There's, there's so many people that came through with the new breed lot. And with me, the way I saw it, he's like, I'm going to jump on the mic now. And these are my people, I'm going to give them the mic. Mm-hmm. Give them the mic. Give them the mic. If, if my bridging jumps on the mic now and gets a more of a response than me, that means I'm doing the right thing. So yeah, I'm, that's I'm, right. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not bothered. Pass the gauntlet. Pass the gauntlet. That yeah, kind of yeah, attitude. Look, yeah. I remember I had them tell me, like, yeah, yeah. Come, on, come on in. I'll be like, yeah. what are you saying now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on in. Like, what are you saying? And you look at me like, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Blah, 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 blah. That's the art. That's the art. And you... come on and mash it down and be like, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Like, but you've got to be prepared. I'll be like, where the fuck is this guy getting these noises from? I'm just shouting, really. I'm just going. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm doing. If you aren't, if you aren't listening, watching, and you're listening, Foxy's beatbox. I admire the, that you pass the baton on. Yeah, yeah. That's the art. 
That's Who do you think is the best beatboxer in the world right now? Killer Keller. Bleh! <laughs> I think um, hey, yo, yo. I beg you say something. <laughs> Pardon? Who? <laughs> Unfollow. <laughs> Um, D- Other than you, no, uh, D'Lo, incredible beatboxer. Who is that? Uh, a guy from West Country. D L O. Is he white? Yeah. West Country. Yeah. Okay, you mind? Listen, big up, big up, my boy Clay. I want to big up all my. Listen, everyone thinks I'm from Bristol because the Bristol crew. That's why I used to see you the most. Yeah, you were <laughs> always in Bristol. But I'm, I'm from Croydon. Yeah, Croydon, Croydon. crew. Come Croydon on, boy. Lot of, lot of lot of history in Croydon, isn't it? Oh, let's talk about Hatcher. Um, let's, let's talk about Hatcher. Let's talk about Groove Ryan. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, Scream. Scream. Let's talk about Dubstep. Yeah. Start <laughs> with about, Dubstep. Let's talk about Apple Records. Yeah. Wow. And, and the worst part is that most of these we ever went to school with all cousins and families. Like my cousin um, Thunder Bant and Thunder B, he plays with Eastbound Cool quite a lot. Mm. He does a lot of reggae music, but he, he, we, we, me and him grew up through our uncle called Preacher, and he was there used to be a club in South London called Providence, a lot of the old reggae people. If you're a reggae people, like Fat Man Sound, Cox and all those sounds. That was where they would go. Yeah, well, they would go there because my uncle would call Preacher and a guy called Danny King down in South London. And also, I want to big up Omar and his brother mm. because... Come on, co- South, South, South. Head Corn Road, that's what I'm going to say. South, 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 yeah. big up Omar. I've got to big up Venger as well, big up Grem. Mm. So we're all family. So yeah, it's, we're, all, we're, all mad, it's most, we're all madly interconnected. So I'm at that stage you're now. You're very community driven, aren't you? You're... I tell you why, because I'm an only child, and um, growing up by myself, it was just me and my mum. My mum always worked really hard, so there's a lot of times I spent a lot of time by myself. So where I live now, it's the longest place I've ever lived continuously, even throughout all the music. I've lived here 11 years. So I've watched people being born, people dying, mm-hmm. people growing up. So yeah, I'm very community gr- driven, like I'm thinking now nah, I need to go home. Mm-hmm. Not really, but you know. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. There's a magnetism to it, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it's safety. I think, mm. for me, like... Familiarity. You know, yeah, because, look, look I'm not going to sit here and say being an MC or being an artist or being on stage or being in front of people is not a blessing and it's not... Well, I don't appreciate it. But what happens is that, as a person, you put yourself on offer. That's what you're doing. You might as well go and stand up there naked. When you're going to speak on the mic or whatever you're going to do, if you're going to go up on the stage and stand there and just look, you must have put yourself naked. If there's 10,000, there's one person. I first personally find it more intimidating if there's three people in the crowd rather than 10,000. Believe that. <laughs> Believe that. Don't you? Yeah, of course. So for me, I just find it like, you know what? I'll come out there, do what Stevie said, mash down the team as much as I can. I don't have a choice. This is what I do. I do have a choice, but I don't have a choice. I do have a choice, but I don't have a choice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, ouch, kiss my shoes, kiss my gunny, fuck off. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, let's get the best out because these people are coming and paid money. They're coming to look at us. They listen, Back in the days, it'd be on tapes. It'd be on, there was no internet. I can't just go and get instant. Okay, I want to listen to Killer Keller now. If I decided 20 years ago, 30, 30, 25 years ago, that I want to listen to Killer Keller, then I have to go and find somebody yeah, yeah. Who, and then find the recordings or find. It's hard. Right now, my daughter can find out anything yeah. she wants. So, I think for me now, I think, you know, I enjoy, I want to talk a lot more, I think. I want to talk a lot more. I need to talk a lot more. I enjoy being an MC. It's crazy because there's times where when you do, when we do what we do, it's like you might not think about it, but the most random time you might go to walk out of your house and not be feeling whatever, some random person goes, oh, I always go, hold on. Mm. Are you? Are, are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you kidding? Like, yeah. yeah. What? Can I, and then everyone running around you on the tune of the bus, and I'm thinking, well, hold on, this guy looks like some normal random guy, but hold on, how does this other guy want to yeah. get a picture? As you know about that, yeah. Well, I, I, so, hold that, that means you've touched yeah. that person's life. Mm. Again, like big um, MCLA from Canada. When I met him, he was 14 years old. Yeah. He's now got his own child. You know, Crazy. And, <laughs> There's like, I've now dealt with three generations of people who know who I am or listen to my music or listen to whatever, you know? That's legacy for you, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, it is for me. What about you? What about your legacy? How many podcasts from here? 500, nearly, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. I like doing it. <laughs> I like doing it. Since we talk about what happened in the park on the way over here with that little girl. That was cute, wasn't it? This is the energy that I have, yeah? 
I'm being honest with you, like, my energy is kind of weird. It's like, I get into cars and electronic shit breaks down. I believe in this shit. I'm, <laughs> that's my shit. But mm-hmm. and then even people like, so our aura is how we are. Like, just now I got out of the thing, the guy stopped me and goes, hey, can I talk to you about... The dad's like, no, I'm really busy. I'm just going to do everything. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to for an interview. And I turn around like that on the phone to like, pretend that I'm going to phone someone. I'm trying to phone you. And then I'm like, Ugh! and you're right next to <laughs> at the train station. Yeah. And then we walk into the park, into Queen's Park. Big up, up Queen's Park, come on. Big up the R's. R's. <laughs> QP. Hoopsa. So then um, this little girl, she must have been about 17, 18 months old. Yeah. She's with her nanny, little Filipino woman, pushing a push chair, lovely people. This little girl could hear me and Kella talking. And I've seen her, she looked at me and she stopped. One look at you, wasn't it? No, but no, 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 you didn't clock. She looked at me once and then she looked at me again and then she stopped. And she's like, yeah, all right, cool. So she waited for me and Kella to kind of walk past me and she looked at me and she had like a little um, comfort mm, Comfort blanket thing. She looked at me, she went, and threw it on the floor. And then looked at me. Yeah. As I say, pick that up. In a real kind of um, angelic, uh, ballet-esque, yeah. pirouette yeah, move, yeah, wasn't it? like um, Guinevere. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, totally. You see this? Yeah, the handkerchief. Yeah. It was like... Yeah. Okay. Picked up. Yeah. She's happy as, happy as Larry. Happy 18 yeah. months old. Yeah. Crazy. Can I ask you something? Because all this in succession, what you've just expressed yeah. there, there's, 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 I mean, one of my favourite words on the podcast at the moment, back me, Ashley, is uh, serendipitous, the serendipity Ooh. of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you're, you're, everything almost is in succession of sequence. So yeah. do you feel like often your, your, your career path and life, one and the same, uh, mapped out in that particular fashion? Yeah, do I have you? A choice, yeah. Really? I come from a long line of madness. <laughs> really? <laughs> on both sides of my family, like my dad's side of the family, we're Sancho's. My dad is Alfred Sancho. Um, Jaden played my little cousin. He's actually my fourth cousin. <laughs> that's how that's the crazy thing. I'm all related to his granddad, his granddad, Merlin. Big up Merlin and Sancho, my big cousin. Big up, big up. Boop, 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 boop. Um, he's my second cousin, so it's crazy. So Jaden's great grandfather and my grandmother are brothers and sisters. But his grand- great grandfather unfortunately passed away. That was Cecil. But Cecil lived in Germany. So I have a cousin <laughs> in Germany. Uh, is it Stefan? Stefan Sancho? Well, hold up, in Hanover. So mm. we got all my German crew. Alice Hanover Clark. Hanover crew? Alice Clark, kind of problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is all my, yes, all my Deutsch. Deutsch Prima. Stuff. Prima, come on, man. Mm. Alice Clark, kind of problem. Yeah. I am Bugalize and Bitter. That's Hotel German for me. <laughs> I, 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 know what you need to know. Yeah, That's all I, you need to know. I, 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 I'm Gross Ladline. Numbers, give me a big shandy. I'm happy. Um, <laughs> Yo. So yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on on my mum's side. Uh, my cousin, my second cousin, was Prime Minister of Barbados years ago. Wow. His name was Bernard St. John. I'm a St. John. So it's kind of a lot of crazy shit. My mum lives out in the Cayman Islands and works out there for wherever. Um, my dad was a Buffalo soldier. My brother's part of the bomb squad of the Capitol Police in Washington when they rushed the Capitol building. Oof. In fact, he said head of the bomb squad. What? So, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, his name's Anthony Sancho. But there you go if you want to... Google uh, that. No, well, uh, yeah, you, yeah, but don't go and do nothing with any Americans because I'll come out there and do you something. Just leave my brother alone. He's all right. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good man. Leave him. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Anthony Sancho. He's my brother. He's... So it's kind of cool. My dad was, yeah, 25th, uh, 25th Cavalry of the US Army. My dad bought me this tattoo here in a Sunset Park in Brooklyn years ago. Wow. And then I got, I got this one in uh, Vancouver and this one in St. Neots in Cambridgeshire. That's <laughs> mad, bro. Yeah, so I'm jumping a lot, but yeah. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Maybe these we conversations. Maybe we another little talk about, you know, different kind of stuff, family stuff. But yeah, there's, there's a hell of a lot going on for me. Hell of a lot on both sides, so. Yeah, I was privy. We we did get into a conversation yeah. after then, breaking silence. There's Nikki and Mills yeah. and Caitlin. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm Caitlin, hold like, tight, Caitlin. Caitlin, hey, I love Caitlin, man. Hold tight, fleeky. Come hey, on. Fleek. <laughs> Mills, my brother Nikki Black Pudding, <laughs> Nikki, Nikki Winston Black Market. Dicky sticky black plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you listen. The banter between you guys. I mean, you you know a lot of these cats for a long time. Yeah. It, you know, to, 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 you know, some some admiration must be out there for a lot of people that you know that, that never see the test of of time yeah. in, in a legacy well, such as that. I'm sitting it. Well, thinking about it now. Look, I don't. I don't have. I don't have friends I've known as long as you. <laughs> so you're my friend. That I've known as that yeah, long. Yeah. So yeah. It goes that way. But joining Call FM mm. in 1992. Crazy. Um, the same day I joined was Mampy Swift, 
Nice. Trace. Yeah. Uh, Rhyme Time. Uh, a couple of other guys as well. So I want to put all the cool crew. Yeah, Cool FM. New, all, day. Cool, all the new crew. All the new, all the new, cool all the new crew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. And we got Eastman. Mm. Smurf, the whole family flirt, the whole lot. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, I was talking, talking about this the other day. I think it was Harry. Big up, big up, Shut up. Mr. Callahan. It's interesting, isn't it? The, the empowerment that lies with Cool FM re emerging, completely rebranding. And, and yeah. And yeah, and then you get like py pyro. Big up Richie. Yeah. yeah. Filthy Rich. We own this shit like Filthy fucking Richie. Jungle own Jungle owns itself. So lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, look like, up we're gonna big up Rufus, Sunday West guys a bit the house crew and stuff, but obviously Goods Agency, I wanna big up Rufus as well. And his son, Hector, the actor from um top I might say Top Gear. Top That's how I'm getting old. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. From Top to But Pops. yeah, so as you were saying... Okay. Yeah, no, it's just the, the, the ownership that the, the scene has. Yeah, I love that. It's a bit like hip-hop. Mm, let's, let's go into, like, like, okay, let's talk about EDM. Let's talk about this. There's so much. I've done one of the big, one of the biggest records I ever made was with a, was a hard house on called The Baddest Mother. With <laughs> BK. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Pinnock. The biggest, wow. the baddest, the mother. Understand that there is no other. That's me. So, <laughs> that's me. And then obviously another big tune I done was um, Danny Bird, the uh, Planet Music. Mm. Way back in time there was a planet. I know that planet moves many nations. Come yeah, that's, on. Yeah, that's me. And these people have control over the. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anymore. That's like, amazing. I don't get no roles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a, there's a lot going on, man. But I want to ask you a question. Go on. What's next? What's next? Yeah. Who's on next? What's your next podcast? Who are you talking oh, to next? What boy, are you thinking? Because you're doing a lot here right now. This is, this is mm. actually quite... Mm. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah, this, I, like, I like this place. It's a bit like a shrine. It is. It's like a, it's like a pirate... It's, it's the pod trap. It's like a pirate pod, radio station. Pod trap. So what's, pod ne what's, not, what's next, Mr. Keller? Well, you know what? You know, it's fucking two episodes a week. Okay, so who's next? Who, 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 oh, mate. Well, by the time this comes out, they've already have come out. But, but yeah. people that are on the horizon at the moment... Uh, Jamie Cullum, Scream. Who else? Scream. Yeah, Scream. Quite a boy. Totally. Um, Another quite a boy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, Poets Corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That'd be a good one. Um, who else? I tell you, you need to get on. Go on. You need to get on the, the, I need, you need to get on the, the, the new generation of the, the drum and bass MCs. Yo. And I'm going to make a link for you. You need to get on Azra and Grimer. Yeah, 100. Azra and Grimer, you need to get those two guys on. Yeah. And Ouija. Ouija. I keep saying it, right? Yeah. Get your phone out. Have a look, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be... We, we, we're patterning this up. Man, no, Ouija, man. He's from... I want he's, I want the new guns, man. Yeah, he's from Leicester, yeah. right? When you see him, like, like, his whole energy is just like... Leicester crew. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Good time. On that, um, I I endorse heavily the drum and bass DJs, you know, like Japper, Mills. Japper. You know. Where's Japper yeah. from? He, he's, he's uh, south, yeah. South. South okay. London, yeah. The reason why I said that is because I, I, I thought I knew a yapper from Germany, yeah. but, I mean, no. maybe that's not too, but that's not the real one. No. But I tell you, Mills, I tell you who I like as well. I tell you, he's funny. Yeah, Mosey gives me jokes. Mm, Mosey. <laughs> Good funny guy. Mm. Um, What's your favourite? Oh, 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 oh. I tell you, he's a bad boy, DJ and producer, man. Whiny. Whiny. I like him. Do you know him? Nah. Check him out. W-H-I-N-E-Y. He's done a, he done, he just done a whole big album with P Money. What? Ah, oh, he yeah. did that with P? Yeah. Okay, I've heard him. Yeah. That's sick. And when you see him... Now the oh, Croydon man. I think he is, actually, yeah. P Money? No, he's Lewisham. Lewisham. Yeah, Blue Bar. Like, like X and all them, man. DJ yeah. Argue. Big up Argue. I don't know him. He's Rince FM. Grime. Oh, okay. Grime, uh, what was it? Grime History. Podcast. Grime, Grime, look, most of the Grime ones that I know, um, especially ones that used to be on Call FM, so obviously Maxwell, God's Gift. God's Gift. But God's Gift had a different name before that. What was it, what was it before? His name on Call of Fame was totally different. It was totally... Ask him. This, does anybody know what God's Gift's name was? Yeah. Comment God's below, Gift? comment below. And does anybody know that God's Gift was on Call of Fame? Because he was. That's how I know it. Of that time, and I said it on the way here, Trim, mm, Flo, yes. Dan, Flo Dan, yes. God's Gift. To me, those three were just like... Why? 
just the characterfulness in her voice. Trim had a way of flowing in a particular way. He's, he's, he was just full of, he had full of bounce and almost like he was he was coiling the words and yeah, folding in. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's just incredible, you know. But, but what were they like? To, were they like were they like that together? Or well, when you see the you know the, the early de- basement tapes of um, yeah, Jammer, you know, Jammer, what I mean, yeah, yeah. and his mum's mum's uh, uh, cellar, I guess. It was just it's just awesome to hear these these diverse voices. Voices that come from. And like Rare. Different cadences, different kind of um, yeah. patternation. Flo Dan, bam, 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 yeah, bam. Yeah. No, no, no. But, you, but you know who Flo Dan's dad is? Go on. <laughs> His name's Gappy. Now, if you know about sound systems from South London, yeah. I can't remember exactly what sound system he's part of, but his dad is a big, a big, a big, big part of the reggae sound system uh, movement of... London from the 70s and 80s. No. By the name of Gappy. Um, and when you see him, he's taller than... He's taller than did, 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 really? He's taller than... Just a bit. <laughs> and his hands oh. are about that big. Yo. And he also used to sell um, um, perfumes and uh, like the Muslim kind of oils yeah, yeah. in Brixton Market. Right next, nice. right, ne- right next door to the um, re- recreation centre. Mm. But yeah, his grand... His grand his brother's dad... When you see him, they look exactly the same. Really? And, but he's he's taller. He's massive. Even now, like my man, I'm I'm, I'm whatever my age is. Incredible. He must be at least fifteen years. But which means he's touching seventy odd. But this guy is, blah blah blah, ding. Yeah, yeah, really. And yeah, gap. Built. So we got all the original sound man from Brixton, from Lewisham, from Catford, from Deptford, from all over South. You know what I mean? Not the. Um, the South London lot, but yeah, he's he's, he's there. Yeah, there's there's a long lineage of st- stuff that. That needs to be written down. I think. There's a, there's a t- You're the, the, and yo, I, mm. I can totally and utterly uh, agree with that. Mm. You, you, you're like a information centre. Yes, you're an information. <laughs> you are. I'm the founder of this, useless knowledge. Where's this? No, you're not. We've in this last forty five minutes, we've talked about graffiti. We've talked about um, John Bass. We've talked about the country. We've part, talked about it's part of my thing. I'll be honest with you. Our generation was not. We don't come from the generation of yeah. diagnosis. Okay? Mm. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. So a lot of things that I've kept hold of, within my, my myself or things that have happened, whether I was an MC or not, a lot of other things would be happening. Um, but there's so much that I feel that I do have to say to people. Sometimes it can be overload because by the time when I when I bring it out and it comes out, especially if I've had a little. It'd be like, okay, Fox is on one. Well, not really. It's, 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 it's so, just, it's so yeah. much. Like, going back from when I was 15, mm. and 15 for me is 34 years ago. Mm. So, so you me thinking about 34 years saying, ago, yeah. what the hell? There's people that have been yeah. born and died since then. Yeah, yeah. There's people that have been born, had children, and died. <laughs> and there's yeah. people that have been born, had children. Those people, children have had children yeah. in 34 years. Yeah. That's actually crazy when you think about it like that. <laughs> but, but we're getting old, bro. <laughs> it's not, no, no, getting no, no, old, no, 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 no. But guess what? We're still good, bro. We're still good, bro. Hey, listen, this is the real podcast, worldwide yeah. and universal. Keep it real, never virtual. Right back now, we're going to get personal. Just like fight, we get virtual. Kiss my shoes, kiss my granny, and fuck off. You don't know it's killer, killer. Kiss my shoes. Oh! <laughs> we are like him with our fashion. Fuck's inside the place. <laughs> Hey. You know what the deal is, sharing and caring, that's what we're here to do, all right? Tell a friend to tell a friend, subscribe, hey, and, and listen, share. share a love, share and a like. I'll be back. He'll be back, I'll Fox be back. will be back. Yo. Come baby. <laughs> 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 My brother. <laughs> eee, sprinkle the goodness. Hey, yeah, come on. Put yeah, we'll like that. Ladies and gentlemen, you'd be lucky, won't you? Pow. Peace. Oh, yeah. You sure?